U.S. leaders press Biden admin to facilitate release of Binance exec held in Nigeria. Shailini Nagarajan last updated, June 5, 2024, 228 EDT One Minute Read. 12 U.S. lawmakers have urged President Joe Biden to facilitate the return of Tigran Gambarian, a Binance executive held in Nigeria for over three months on allegations of money laundering and tax evasion. The June 4 letter was addressed to Biden, Secretary Antony Blinken, and Presidential Envoy for Hostage Affairs Roger Carsons. In it, lawmakers emphasized the need for urgent intervention, saying Gambarian is being held unjustly. A Fox Business reporter, Galiner Terrett, shared a copy of the letter on X. It stressed that Gambarian is being treated poorly while in detention. For instance, he is not allowed to meet with his lawyers privately, as there are officials and armed guards always present. They further call for the Special Presidential Envoy for Hostage Affairs Involvement in Gambarian's case. They also underscored that the allegations against him are baseless and represent a coercive tactic to pressure Binance. Nigeria trial takes dramatic turn as Binance exec collapses. Gambarian, a U.S. citizen, along with another Binance exec, Nadim Anjarwala, were initially arrested in Nigeria in February. They were charged with accusations of money laundering and tax evasion. Shortly after, Anjarwala absconded but was apprehended again nearly 3,000 miles away in Kenya. Last month, Gambarian collapsed in court during his trial for alleged money laundering. The incident took place at the Federal High Court in Abuja shortly after the proceedings were set to resume under Justice Emeka N.Y. He was refused bail on May 18 and failed to attend a court hearing on May 22, leading to uncertainty about his whereabouts. When he appeared the next day, his physical state had significantly worsened. The event played out as he didn't approach the stand when called. Though his lawyer helped him from the back row, he reportedly collapsed midway and needed to be seated in the front. Citing declining health, his lawyer filed a written application informing the court of his condition. Malaria diagnosis raises alarm. Gambarian's health has been declining since February. According to a letter submitted to the court, his condition became critical the day before the hearing, requiring hospitalization for malaria with intravenous treatment. Despite a court order mandating private hospital care, he has not received it, according to U.S. politicians. Fearing for his life, the politicians have called for swift action to guarantee his safety and prevent the tragic outcome. Follow us on Google News.